Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today is Oddish Research Day and we are out here because there's two times Stardust today which honestly isn't as exciting as the event we just had where we had four times Stardust and four times the XP but you know what I'm still gonna take advantage of it. I'm just pop that star piece and I'm going to definitely try and get as much Stardust as we can today. I have two Oddishes from research that I'm going to go ahead and um, get. I'm not sure what the hundo is but I am trying to get that shiny because because I still do not have that shiny so all right so our first oddish is a CP of 512 and that is a three star not a hundo so I'm guessing the hundo is probably around 530 ish maybe like 520 something so we're going to go ahead and spin some pokey stops and try and get as many researches as we can today all right we have the first one done let's try and get the second one and we have a 524 which honestly shouldn't be that bad it's probably a high three star but something exciting that i am looking forward to today is i'm trying to get that shiny oddish i still do not have that shiny and i'm trying to complete the shiny family so far no shiny luck but it is a ooh, 98 percent oh so i'm guessing the hundo is around 526 that was super close okay it should not be that hard to try and get a hundo today or even a shiny the odds for shiny is one out of ten which honestly is even better than community day so i just need to make sure to spin as many pokestops as i can i was on twitter this morning and we found out that unfortunately niantic did mess up this weekend we had a lot of zapdos shadow raids and unfortunately there was no way we could get a shiny so apparently niantic is planning to kind of make it up to us but at this point i'm just like i really don't know if it is going to be made up i mean if they give us some remote raid passes i still don't think that's fair because so many people grinded for that shadow zapdos because it is very uncommon and it doesn't come into raids as often so that is something that's trending on twitter right now which is very unfortunate on niantic's part i feel like that could have been easily fixed but yet they really didn't put attention to it so that is very unfortunate but we are going to check our spawns and we have a vino nat we have a bond suite which cannot be shiny during this event and a cacnea which is not a shiny but we're definitely going to go spin some more pokey stops i have two more shiny checks before we have to go to a different park to spin more pokey stops i ran out of pokey stops here so we have to make sure we get as many as we can today and this one is a two star i'm gonna go ahead and transfer that one because it is not good and then second one we have a 511 also trash not a hundo the goal for today is to get a shundo it is a high possibility that we'll be able to do that just because shiny rates are so high i got two more oddishes one was a 499 and then this one right here was a 511 so unfortunately no hundo or no shundo yet that's my fourth oddish so far so i'm definitely going to go to a different park because i ran out of pokey stops here but i did want to mention that there was a ghastly nest here at this park i finally finished page two of the shiny new research so i finally was able to get that last ghost pokemon Alright guys, so we're back here. It is the end of the research day for Oddish and honestly, I had a lot of fun. Um, I did have to go in my car in order to find Pokestops and spin them and get those research tasks. So if you do live in a more rural area, I understand where you might not have enjoyed the event as much as other people. So unfortunately, I wasn't able to get that hundo this time. Um, I just got a 96% shiny oddish which was pretty exciting but i was hoping for that hundo and unfortunately i didn't get it this time i didn't get a shundo i didn't get a hundo the closest to a hundo was that 96 percent so i mean it is what it is but other than that i had a blast honestly guys i think it was a fun event it wasn't a big event it was more of a laid-back event but i am looking forward to that grubbing community day 
scrub in community day next week which everyone is excited about i know the shiny does come out this coming weekend so a lot of people are excited for that so hopefully niantic don't mess this up i did complete my shiny oddish family i was able to get a total of six shinies during this event and i am going to evolve them into their shiny forms as for the oddish holding the sunstone i thought we would be able to see the animation where the oddish was holding the sunstone but unfortunately it wasn't the case you kind of had to look in your journal and see if it dropped a sunstone so i did have i think it was one maybe two that dropped a sunstone so it wasn't a really high chance of it look for oddish and shiny i have oh i have five i thought i had six but i have five oddish i guess <laughs> but we did complete the oddish family i'm going to go ahead and let's see we have a three star two star three star we have our 96 and then we have another three star i think i'm gonna keep this one i think i'm gonna keep my two star as a baby just because it's a 495 maybe i mean it's not really good in comps but i do prefer for the oddish to be less than 500 so we're going to evolve this 511 we're going to evolve it into its second evolution which is gloom and honestly the shiny is super cute it reminds me of a little like sunflower on its head and honestly it is super cute fun fact i didn't know but for my harry potter lovers out there oddish was based on the screeching plant or the screeching root from harry potter which is kind of interesting in fact for those that like to know a little bit more about the origins of pokemon but we have our gloom it's a 702 and so i'm going to go ahead and just evolve this one into blossom so i'm going to use my sunstone and evolve this one i do not have it in my pokedex yet so this is going to be a pokedex entry and and into the pokedex it goes and we have our blossom or bellow awesome blossom whatever it's called it's a 550 it's a 957 so i have just enough candies to evolve my gloom into my other evolution and i had to use one of my rare candies which is fine i have like 200 and something of them um so i guess i didn't grind as hard as i thought i did because if not i would have had the candies to evolve them into both or three of them which is fine and here we have our villa plume and honestly it is so adorable just look at it it's doing little like cab raises which i think is so adorable it's just exercising <laughs> how cute <laughs> i was left with only one oddish candy left which is unfortunate but i mean i'm not worried i mean you don't really use oddish or any of its evolutions for comp so it's just there for my shiny family so here we go we completed our oddish shiny family which is so exciting i think that was the main goal for today i really didn't have any other expectations and there we go honestly this was an event where i just kind of wanted to enjoy the event i feel like these past few weeks i kind of was focused on grinding rather than enjoying the event and this time i actually had fun i at the end of the day i just wanted my shiny family and i got it which is really exciting for me but um i hope you guys enjoyed this event i know i did and i am really excited for grub and community day next week so um thank you so much for supporting me thank you for 1k and make sure to subscribe make sure to like this video leave a comment let me know how your research day went and i'll see you guys in the next one bye